Yo, we got a new device today, guys. This is so exciting because once again, Epic is paying attention to Fortnite Creative and giving us new stuff. The new matchmaking device, we're gonna show you how to use it in this video, as well as how to use it as artwork if you don't care to use it as a matchmaking device. But before we jump into that, as you guys know, we had a big update to Fortnite and Fortnite Creative. The biggest update for this patch, they recently released the Lazy Links Clubhouse prefab, the garage, and the pro shop, which is pretty dope. They released one gallery as well for the Lazy Links gallery. If you're a big fan of Lazy Links like I am, you will be thrilled by this new gallery. I'm also thrilled that they added a new weapon. The lever action rifle comes in four different variants, gold, purple, blue, and green. So make sure to check those out and see how they can integrate with your game. Guys, I know you wanna move on to why you're here, which is that matchmaking device. If you like the content you see, please make sure you're slamming that like button. It helps me out so much and it helps the algorithm. I appreciate you. Um, so let's go on. There's the matchmaking portal right there, guys. Heck yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this bad boy down. It does take up quite a bit of memory, guys. About a thousand memories. So if you're working on a big BR or something, this may not be for you. But let's go into the, the main reason they made this device, which is now we can create matchmaking hubs. And I wanna actually show you how you can enter your matchmaking hub to get it seen by Fortnite and possibly be in the game, which would be pretty fantastic. So the first thing you need to do is figure out a code, put in a code. Now, I am a creator, so I have a few maps. I'm gonna use my Battle Royale map in this example. I'm gonna put my code in here for you guys to check out. Now, one thing I did note, if you do not put the dashes in, it will not work. So guys, you do need to put the dashes in in order for the code to work. So you see there, 3839-8711-9875, which is my BR map, make sure to check it out. Now, as you're seeing here, it worked. It plugged in all the relevant information. I didn't change any of the default settings here, but um, it looks like it's ready to go, right? It does, but let's see what else we can do here. What are these options? Set text visibility on, yes, we want all of that on, right? Set island details off. Um, I would almost say you would want to set island details visibility to on, personally. The first two are on, which gives people the idea of what your map is. They can see that matchmaking is available. And now with that on, you'll see right there, it pops up on the right there, directing Pete's Battle Royale. This incredible BR gives you OG feels with cool original POI. So it gives you a little bit more detail on what's going on. People may want to see that context so they can decide, do I wanna go into this matchmaking portal or not? Now, code override allowed. Um, I don't see why you would wanna turn that on because then you're just making a hub. Maybe you wanna make a hub that people go to instead of the main hub. Maybe you create a really cool hub that other creators can check out. Once again, I'm gonna show you how to enter to be seen by Fortnite and possibly get your creative hub seen and featured in Fortnite Creative. Now, here's a really cool option, enable as art. Guys, this is amazing. Maybe you don't care about the matchmaking portal, but you want some cool new artwork for your map. This is for you guys. So we're gonna dive into that in just a moment, but I wanna show you how the matchmaking uh, settings work. So let's go ahead and dive into that now. All right, and I'm just, I just started the game and you'll see here, I just entered matchmaking. It does take about a moment to recognize what I've done. So you have to be patient. Matchmaking will queue up and all of a sudden, bam, we're loading into my map and that's pretty much it. Just like any other game that involves matchmaking, you will sit and wait here until more players queue up. Because this is not published, I will be the only person queued up in this match but this gives you an idea of how the mechanics of this work. Let me go ahead now and move on and show you how to create some cool artwork out of this. All right, going back into the settings here, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these settings. Now, the only difference is we're gonna go ahead and 
turn off a few different things here and get it ready. So we're gonna go ahead and say no to the enable audio. I don't like the audio on, maybe you do. I'm not a fan of it just because I find it to be a little loud. Um, I did turn all these off. I'm noticing nothing is working. Uh, so what I did actually notice here, guys, all my settings are correct. It looks like a bug currently. So if you see the glitch I'm seeing right now where everything's correct, but it's still showing the text, what you're gonna wanna do is click it and duplicate it. And then when you duplicate it, you'll see it's working fine. So just go ahead and delete, you know, just delete the old one and use that new one with the new settings. All right, so now we have our beautiful picture. In this case, it is a map of my island from my Battle Royale map. And I wanna use this on another map as a piece of artwork. So we're gonna go ahead and see here, we can resize these, uh, make them really big, make them small. But what's nice is we have that flexibility. Okay, so now using our quick bar, we can go ahead and copy the picture from one map and move it to another. If you wanna know more about how to use your quick bar moving objects from one map to another, take a look at the link I just put on the top right there for you to check out that will teach you about the quick bar and how to use it. So we did go ahead and copy that. We're gonna move from one island to another. And I've decided that this wall needs a nice picture of my map. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in right now. And it may take a moment to get the placement right. I, I did it a couple times and I actually put one behind the wall here. But you get the idea. So now I have this really beautiful picture and it's a custom picture. This is what's so cool, guys. It's not like any other picture you'll see on any other map because it's my code. Uh, another great thing I just learned is FCHQ, which is an amazing website. I think you guys have been there before. They have an amazing website and they also have an amazing Discord where you can find tons of map codes with different images that you can use on your map. So I'm gonna link that in the description below because this way you can go ahead and just type in these codes, get a preview of what these maps are gonna look like. Maybe they're symbols, maybe they're cool artwork, maybe they're letters, but uh, it, this is gonna be really cool, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and link you to that channel so you can check it out. All right, and finally, what you guys have been waiting for, how do I create my own matchmaking portal hub? Well, so what we're gonna do here is go to variety maps and more, and you'll see this is the very first featured matchmaking hub by Dumb Blonde. And she has created this matchmaking hub. So it's kind of a hub within a hub, very Inception-like. But what's cool about it is if you're having trouble figuring out what kind of map you wanna play, you can go ahead and create your own hub and possibly get it featured in Fortnite Creative. So maybe you don't wanna just go for the big create a hub, but maybe you want to create a hub within a hub. I mean, listen, we all have goals, right? So what does that mean? Let's go ahead and dive into this new matchmaking hub. And I'm just going to go over this very briefly, but from a design standpoint, because we want to know how do we make one. Now, I did read that Fortnite isn't really giving much direction on this right now. Epic Games hasn't really announced the rules. What I will say, it seems like I would just kind of follow the example here if you want to get featured and so what i mean by that is don't make it too big um obviously put your text up there is a weird text bug in this release so ignore the flickering but you'll see here welcome to dumb blondes matchmaking hub here's a various assortment of maps made by dumb blonde so basically this is her idea of what the game hub should look like now this is really great um, this is the first of its kind. Epic Games is now going to be featuring these as another featured map. This is going to be awesome, guys. I suggest trying it out. Since it's so new, there may not be a lot of people trying to do this yet. You may have a better chance of getting featured, and then you'll get that creator code that you've been dying to get. So let's talk about this. Um, by the way, that text up there is so dope. Do you guys think I should do a video on creating cool text like that? Let me know in the comments below because I do think it's time we create some pretty awesome text. I might might dive into doing something like that later. Um, but yeah, so guys, let's count the amount of hubs that she has in here. I see one, two, three, four, uh, and you know, I skipped through a little bit here and we ended up with 16 different hubs. 
So I wouldn't create more than 16 different matchmaking portals. Um, just kind of follow the guide that she left here since there's no official rules listed yet on how to do this. What I've learned, guys, though, is if you guys are first out the gate by creating something like this and getting it submitted, the chances of you getting seen are a lot higher. All right, I'm going to provide the link below, but you're going to go here. This is the official form to apply to be in the Fortnite hub. And what you'll do there is click on, it looks like what I would do is actually featured island. I know that sounds a little weird, but technically it is a featured island. It's not a featured hub. So I would go ahead and choose featured island for now until they kind of clarify the rules around this a little bit better. But go ahead and click featured island and fill out this form once you have your hub created and then go ahead and provide your username and all the additional information it is asking for from you in order to submit this hub. Now, guys, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below and I will be glad to answer them for you. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna leave you to it using the new matchmaking portal to either create an amazing hub just like this one or make some crazy artwork for your maps using already published codes which, if you want to join my Discord, I will also have a section of popular codes that you can use. Uh, put that in the link below as well. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please like and subscribe if you like the content you see. Thank you again, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.